Today, I'm gonna to really quickly show you how you can create this easy zoom through transition for your music video effects. Let's go. My name is Devin Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today, all we'll be needing is Premiere Pro, no effects or plugins required. But really quickly, if you guys are new to this channel and you find this video interesting, please really be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so it really means a lot. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into tutorial. All right guys, so now that we are finally inside of Premiere Pro and we have our two clips right here, the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna have this zoom through effect. I want this zoom through to occur right here at this transition and I want it to just like zoom into his face and then just like cut to the the next frame. We're gonna hit new item and we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. I just have the adjustment layer set to your dimension size and just drag this right over here in between your two layers. Quick note, it's important that your adjustment layer starts like four to five frames before the transition cut and then it just continues and covers the entire next clip. This is a very important part. We're not gonna have it like cut right here. It has to go over the entire next clip. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our effects and we're gonna search for the transform effect. Drag and apply the transform effect to your adjustment layer. You're just gonna be adjusting the scale right here. So this scale right here, we can set a beginning initial keyframe at the very beginning of the adjustment layer. And then we're gonna go like four or five frames after the cut has already occurred. And we're gonna zoom in like, let's do about like 150-ish. And if you always want a faster animation, you can always, of course, just go ahead and drop the amount of frames that are, occur after and before the cut. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to hit the drop down on the scale icon right here, and we're gonna use these little anchor icons right here and just drag them out to create this nice warped up zoom effect right here. Come over here to your shutter angle and I want you just to increase this to about like 360. Shutter angle just basically affects the motion blur. Having that 360 will have the most motion blur. And then boom, there we go. We have a nice simple zoom in effect, but the only problem is, is this next frame is really zoomed in and it's just kind of hard to see everything. Back here to your effects and presets and search for a replicate effect. And we're gonna drag this to our next bottom layer. And now you'll see why we need this adjustment layer covering the whole clip. We're gonna increase the count to three. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here to this last zoom in keyframe. You're gonna have to adjust it again because you're gonna wanna make sure that it covers the entire frame now. So now when we play back the zoom in effect, all the replicate tiles are just there in the background to just add some extra footage there. And voila, there you have it folks. We have a nice zoom in effect. And now to spice it up even more, I'm gonna use an 11% shake it up preset pack right here, which guys, if you don't have, make sure to check out 11percent.net. There I really spill all the sauce on all the top presets packs that will just help spice up and speed up your editing workflow. We have presets ranging from artificial camera movement all the way to Lightroom presets, so definitely make sure to check it out. And if you use this promo code right here, you'll get an exclusive 40% off any of your first purchases on the house, guys. Really, I dumped my heart and soul out into it, so if you have at least two minutes of your day, if you could really check out the link in the description and use this promo code, we got a special gift for you guys. Thank you guys, really, it means the world. And with that, guys, here is the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you again so much for watching. Really, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It means so much to me in this channel. And also, if you guys have at least like two minutes of your day, if you could really check out 11percent.net, there I really dump out my heart and soul into creating preset packs that really just hope speed up your editing workflow. And this effect that we made in this whole video, I have like a crap ton more in our new Shake It Up preset pack, which we just dropped on our website. Definitely make sure to go check it out there. And it's also super fun and it'll save you so much time. And if you use this promo code right here, you'll get an exclusive 40% off any of your first purchases. Come on guys, 40%. Definitely make sure to check out the link in the description. Once again, thanks guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.